Da da dum dum da dum 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 da dum dum da da dum dum da dum dum da dum dum da dum dum da da dum dum 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 Good evening and welcome to the great Auntie Donna debate. I'm Broden Kelly, tonight's moderator and also a member of Auntie Donna. Well, Auntie Donna is about to decide who will lead Auntie Donna for the next four years. But right now, a lot of Auntie Donna members are still undecided about who that should be. So tonight, the leaders of the two major parties are facing off in what is the last head-to-head -head contest before polls open tomorrow morning and early voting begins. We'd like to welcome the reigning president, Zach Rowane, and opposition leader, Mark Bonanno. Tonight, they'll be taking questions from our expert panel, Broden Kelly. This election is, of course, all about you at home, your issues, your concerns, and who has the best plan to make your lives better. But not really, because it's just the members of Auntie Donna voting, the three of us. Now, we know that our audience has a lot of questions, and to ensure that we get to as many of them as possible tonight, both leaders have agreed to keep their answers to 60 seconds, except for their opening statements, which can be as long as they can rant on for. Our candidates only have blank paper and a pen with them to make notes throughout the evening. Well, it's time to get started. Our current president won the coin toss earlier, and we'll give the opening statement over to you, Zach. Thank you, Broden. Australia, this Saturday... You've got a bit your hair's in your face. Can I just... Can I? I was a bit of schmutz in it. your hair. Can I just Mate, get can it? You, is it all right in terms of... Because it's been up all weekend. It looks great. It looks really good. Really great, great, great bounce. Because sometimes I'll, I'll shoot with my hair down and it's been up all weekend. It's got Zach, the kink. your opening statement. Does yeah. it have the kink, Georgia? It does have a little bit of the kink, but it's nothing is to it, Is it all right on front? Should I put, wear it up? The, no one's seen the back of your head. Yeah, we'll cut all this. Tell. What are you doing? Don't put it up. We're I'm not going to put it up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen and everyone else. <laughs> Thank you, Broden. Australia, this Saturday, there is an election, yes. Mm. But what is an election? But a question. On Saturday, you have to answer one question. What, what Auntie Donna do we want to live in and be in, I guess? Sorry, I was addressing this to all of Australia, but it's just for Auntie Donna. Mm. What kind of Auntie Donna do you want to live in? Now, I could tell you the sort of Auntie Donna I want to live in. It's an Auntie Donna that It's an Auntie Donna that, that, that films in the office while other people are working. It's a, it's a fun Auntie Donna. Oh. It's an Auntie Donna that cares about its people, but it's also an Auntie Donna that's realistic. The cost of living crisis is affecting everyone, not least the entertainment industry. I know that that's going to make changes to this company. I know that it's going to make changes that are boring, that maybe aren't interesting to the Patreon. It's going to affect ticket sales. It's going to affect Patreon signups. It's going to affect very serious things. And the question is, do we want someone at the, the president of Auntie Donna who cares, who's smart, <laughs> or do we want someone who is a populist? Now, I know I've made mistakes. I'm happy to own that. I might not be uh, uh, the, the smoothest guy on the campaign trail, <laughs> but I'll tell you what I am. I'm someone who cares. I'm someone who will deliver. I'm someone who has a track record as president of Auntie Donna, and I am someone who, while I might be a little bit boring, I will make Auntie Donna better and brighter for everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Zach. And now the opening uh, speech from Mark Bonanno, Mark Samuel Bonanno. Thank you, Broden. How do you, smell, how do you uh, spell that uh, middle name? 
S-A-M-U-A-L. Correct. I've been through a fucking airport with you. Yeah. Where are you going? I want a coffee. Okay. Good people of Auntie Donna, I stand before you today a man, a humble man, a humble pie of a man, a mincemeat pie, a shepherd's pie, a shepherd ready to uh, take, ready to lead my flock of everyone here to victory and to the light. The last four years have been a tyrannical reign under this motherfucker. He has beaten us down, our spirit, our, our vibe, our, uh, our way of life. He's made, it more dif he's made it more difficult. And why? When it doesn't have to be and it could be easy. My whole fucking, my whole approach to this whole thing for me is like, Chill it out, make it cool. Just like, cause I'm just a bloke, man. I'm not Mr. Fancy Pants over here. Yeah. Look at the way he, you think, all right, grew up in mining country. Money, wealth, space, places to breathe. He doesn't understand the common uh, person. He doesn't, he's, he doesn't understand the uh, man's best friend. I grew up in Werribee, like I was beaten, I got bashed a couple times. So I understand, you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I get it. I'm more like, he is not smooth and I am. And he is boring of his own admission and I'm not, I'm an entertaining uh, dude. Cool. And my question is, do you want the same shit that we've always had, or do we want a bit of fresh blood in here? And I ain't talking about the ABC Screen Australia initiative. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Uh, I'd like to now reiterate to the audience watching at home, there are three votes available in this election. The electorate is three people, uh, and they will have the deciding vote. So my question firstly falls to you, Mark. Mm. Uh, Zach, you talked about mistakes in your is reign. Is it for me or is it for Zach? Well, Zach talked about mistakes in his previous reign. Mm. My question to you is, what mistakes have you made in the past? None. Your time starts now. None. You got 55 seconds. You've never made a mistake? Name one. Right. Yeah, exactly. You can't. Do you know why? Because I've never made one. And I make that my point. I make that my point to uh, if uh, I don't make mistakes. And wow. I haven't. And he has made a ton. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. Um, I've never been president, so I can't make I haven't made any mistakes as president. Uh, but you've uh, made but mistakes, done. surely, in life. Like oh, in life, yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting the wrong hat on and arranging. Tying my shoes together yeah. rather than tying them separately. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boiling my cat up. Because I didn't have any... I didn't have any meat for tea that night. You didn't have any meat for tea, so you boiled your cat? And that's your time. <laughs> uh, Zach. What mistakes have you made? Oh God, is 60 seconds going to be long enough? You now, you wait your turn. Is my 60 seconds starting now? Can we restart my 60 seconds? No, Please. it's all part of the rules of being adjudicated in the correct manner. Sure. It's funny that um, the man standing opposite me said that he's never made any mistakes. I know not he true. corrected the record. Not true. I know that you've had your turn. You've had, not your true. turn. you've had your turn. When he actually made several mistakes in his opening remarks, he referred to the place I grew up as in as a very wealthy area. It's one of the poorest oh, uh, areas in all of Victoria. Big tick. It has very high unemployment. Um, all of those things happen under a different leader. I'm only the leader of, of Auntie Donna, to be clear. He also talked about having places to breathe. Now, I don't think you need to know about the Latrobe Valley 
I think it's really just common knowledge that places where there's coal mines, the breathing isn't as good. So that's it. That, he just said like the opposite of what's true. But what mistakes? I'm going to hold you to this. Sure. What mistakes, Your mistakes have I made? Is there enough Do you know, I think the biggest mistake I made, the biggest mistake I made is not selling to the Auntie Donna people. Your time's up. I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say one. I, I will address the question. I okay. will address the question. I, I feel it's only fair. Is not um, selling to the uh, Auntie Donna people uh, the successes that I've made in my oh, time. Please take as much Two sitcoms. As Two sitcoms. One on the biggest platform in the world in, in our four years, in my four years at Auntie Donna. Uh, 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 a big, nice office. All of these things happened as I was, while I was president over the last four years. And sure, I didn't sell that well enough and that's probably my biggest mistake. Wait, taking up everyone else's time. Well, I just think uh, you talked over my minute, so I think it's only fair I got a little bit more time. Wow. Uh, but you, Mark, in your section, you talked about pies and mm. different kinds of pies. Yes. It, Zach, I'll ask you first. Mm. Is, what would pies look like in the next four years? Certainly wouldn't look like this man. A mincemeat pie, he says, a shepherd pie, with allusions to Jesus, uh, leading flock, whatnot. Um, no, my pies would be a tasty pie, but also a humble pie. Um, I'm thinking like a four and 20, but like one of them four. good ones. You yeah. know how they do the nice ones sometimes? Yeah. So like uh, you, you're paying like eight, like maybe $10 for a four pack of the nicer ones, maybe a little bit more, but they've got like crunchy, crunchier pastry and stuff, mm. but still a humble shop bought pie. Now I know, uh, the man opposite to me likes to talk a little bit and likes to talk a big game. This is a guy that eats bakery pies. This is a man that eats vegan pies. This is a man that probably eats, um, dare I say, uh, spaghetti pies. Um, I, I, I feel that I want to say here today <laughs> that this is a man that says he will go to the shops and buy a 4 and 20 pie like any member of Auntie Donna. Yeah. Like the football. Yeah. But I wouldn't be so trusting. All right, Mark, your, your turn now. Oh, I'm so sorry that I support local business. Wow. By going and buying pies at the bakery rather than um, a big conglomerate like 4 and 20. The biggest, one of the biggest, they have a monopoly uh, special edition. So, so sorry, sorry that I'm the kind of person that loves local business, will lower taxes, what on, taxes? Lower, on, low, on small business, and you own a small business, ain't Auntie Donna, so. But you are not. You the... benefit from that. Well, let's talk about the racist stuff. Let's talk about the spaghetti pie. <laughs> <laughs> let's talk about the spaghetti pie. Oh, I was just oh, oh, of oh, I would, lines of pies. Oh, excuse me. I listed excuse a number of me? pies. Oh, I'd eat a spaghetti pie. Is it why? Because I'm wild? No. Say it. Say I'm wild. No, I listed a number of pies. I listed yeah. a... Yeah, yeah, there was yeah. a, a large you list You would have been, pies. if this was 19... You've had your time. If this was the 1960s, you, you would have been out of front of Town Hall fucking protesting against the opening of Pellegrini's. Now, my question... That's, that's my opposition today. That's who I'm dealing with today. I, I, I was listing a number of pies. Spaghetti pie happened to be one of them. I, I think it's a stretch to accuse me of racism. Is it? Is it? If we want to talk about racism... No, we'll cut it there. We'll cut it there. I, we, a third of the electorate in this election will be Broden voters. What do you bring for the Broden vote? Well, Because essentially you'll vote for Mark and you'll vote for Zach. So well, uh, there's no that. guarantee for that. You know, I respect my opponent and I respect... You just the, said you... <laughs> well, look, you we've all you. made mistakes. Me, I'm number one mistake maker, all right? You said you never made a mistake. And I don't. But here's what I have to say to the question that you asked. What am I going to do for the Broden vote? Broden is one third. Do you realise that Broden is one third of the electorate? I just said one that. third. Do you have any idea how big of a chunk of the pie that is? <laughs> What's the chunk of pie? Or? No, I'm saying, I'm saying, if you divide that into a pie, that's a that's a bit, that's a big bit of the pie. It's close to half of the pie, and. You've got to keep your strength up. You're going to the gym every day. You're working hard. You're lifting weights. You think, you think I'm not going to get you that big slice of pie with all the things you need in it? You think I'm not going to do that for you? You 
are going to be coming in here every day. People are going to be calling you the pie boy. Because all the pie you're eating, one third of it, Broden. Respect yourself and respect your body. And it'll be good pie too. Bak mm. Like bakery pie, and not racist pies either. And that's your time. And, and perfectly timed, by the way, I was done. Zach. Unlike my opponent here, can't seem to keep track of any sort of time. <laughs> I, uh, I don't know what my opponent's uh, preoccupation with pies is, <laughs> but um, let's talk about policy. It's known that I've promised uh, high protein options for catering during film shoots. Mm. I've promised uh, a oh, gym yeah. downstairs. Stop picking. Uh, it's also known that I've promised uh, a couple of hours off if there's a footy game that anyone oh. in the office oh. wants to watch. Days off, I've said days off. It's known that I've, I've offered... Um, uh, free tickets to the footy, one, one free tickets to the footy to everyone, everyone, every every member of the electorate, Mark, Zach, Broden can all get free ticket, free ticket to the footy uh, that I'll give them if I if I win. These are the policies I'm putting in place. I'm putting them in place because of uh, smart financial decisions made by my treasurer Sam Lingham. Uh, these are decisions that. Oh no, Sam's more the Reserve Bank. These are decisions You're that fun. I'm proud of. Can, may I, may I, may I, may I? May I, may I, may I, I uh, maybe, uh, yeah, and then you're gonna talk about metaphorical pies. No, 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 I'm not gonna talk, talk about, about metaphorical pies. pies. Why don't you right? talk about policy for once? I will talk about policy. Why don't you How are you gonna get policy? the tickets? How are you gonna get the tickets? I'd like to hear from this guy right over here. I'll buy the tickets, I'll give them to him. I'll so you're gonna spend your own money? All right, so you're gonna bribe him? That's I, not a bribe. That's a bribe. That's a bribe. I like the commitment. What are you bringing? What you hear that, and what do you say? More the footy with Broden Kelly. We're amping up to twenty episodes a week. That's that's. <laughs> but, but, but no, no, no. But listen, can't listen. Listen, stop doing X's. It makes it very clear how you feel if you when you do that in front of me. Listen, most of them are repeats. That, yeah, 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 stay with me. Uh, AI, AI-driven technology. I have a lamb. I have a lamb that I've been working on. Uh, machine learning. That can, just, just give me some tips. I have a lamb, trust me, trust me. Uh, uh, it's a new machine. Oh, <laughs> but, can't. Believe me when I say. I will put your podcast through the roof. And not because I'm going to pick it up and throw it up there or move you into the attic, right? With where I store all my pies. I didn't need to say anything else. I'm always done on time. And yeah. I think that needs You've had to your be, time. I think that needs to be taken into consideration. Do you want a president that's always going to be on time and speak within their 60 seconds and finish their full thoughts? You've What's gone over now. Rambling, jambling, mambling. You've done. You got a second minute as well. Do I get a second minute? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. no. Yeah, his time started now. His time you started. You can rebut now. his rebut. I can rebut to that. That's fair. Um, Good luck. My policy is as many footies with Broden Kelly as he needs mm -hmm. and as much support as he needs to promote and sell that podcast. What's your lamb? Um, whatever he needs to do to get his football shit yeah. out to the world. I bet the only lamb he's got is a lamb pie. Okay, sure. Lamb, <laughs> L-A-M. Well, like I'm sorry that I'm a humble Australian man that likes a lamb pie. We don't all like the fancy pies, of which I've already listed. I like lamb. I like a lamb pie. Yeah, absolutely, I do. That's true. That's true, I do like that. Sure. Absolutely. Any thoughts on that? Each there, each what's wrong with liking a lamb pie? What's, what, what's wrong with liking a... Um, no, a four and twenty I mean, pie. I just mean in terms of like creating. You know, there's a lot of people doing. I'm just it hard. in terms of creating an AI that is capable of uh, learning and, and, and interaction. I have one. I would present code and something that's you know been developed by by a software engineer, right. and you, right. would you would present a lamb pie. You would present a pie, a pastry. I just do want then, to present. And who's going to make those extra podcasts for you? The lamb pie. Or my I, AI technology that I, I've invested my own money in. If I may just say one thing in response. You're out of time. I, yeah, no, but you did talk I, I'm over I'm going it. to allow, Zach, one more thought. Just wanted this. to say. Uh, is this is important. My Broden opponent gets. talked before about supporting small businesses. That's why he eats uh, bakery pies, whatnot. Small businesses that are not a part of Auntie Donna. 
I will allow the members of Auntie Donna to eat whatever pie they like, so long as they're comfortable within Auntie Donna. I don't care about the small businesses that aren't in Auntie Donna. The only small business I care about, there's two of them. It's Auntie Donna, it's Haven't You Done Well Productions. And that's why I should be president. Right, I'll let you to speak yeah, back yeah. to that, yeah. What, pies? Why is this? What is your preoccupation with pies? What your is your preoccupation, preoccupation with your pies? Your actual, actually your preoccupation with pies. I'm actually moving. your preoccupation okay. with pies. I'm gonna move on. Your, I'm not done. Your, uh, your well. last bit was all about pies? And small businesses. I'm here to talk about Auntie Donna. I'm here to talk about Auntie Donna. And I want to talk about Auntie Donna now. I want to talk and about And the things her. I'm going to do for this goddamn company that I love, that I've sweated and bled for, from the dick as well, by the yeah. way. It, I have. Remember that morning I woke up and we did the, um, the, the sketch, the Christmas sketch, Dinky Jim. And that morning I'd woken up. And my dick was bleeding, yeah, well, and I don't know do why it was that. bleeding, and I had, I had dick blood that morning, and I didn't know why. I still turned up for work. Okay. Mm. I still did a sketch with uh, Vince Malazzi. That's a good point. Zach, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question. Have you ever bled from the dick uh, and come to work? Uh, I've never come to work with a bleeding dick. No, I... I, I um... Need I say more? Need the electorate here anything else? When it comes to dedication, when it comes to rocking up, uh, with I think it's easy. your dick bleeding. I, I think it's easy. There's to, only uh, one choice. I think it's easy to uh, be dedicated when your priority is external small businesses. I think it's easy to be dedicated. Why? Bleeding dick is not an external small business. Oh, well, I think it's easy to come to work because you're, it's you're so... filled up on delicious, uh, delicious uh, bakery pies from other businesses. I'm going to um, I'm gonna put a hold on it's pies. It's reductive. I'm going to remove pies to call from my... the discussion. Uh, the sure. discussion has moved on to... Bleeding dicks and and uh, you know and 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 how dedicated we are. Dedication. My next question is to. I'm break. staying on topic. I'm. I, I don't. I, These I, guys, pie boys, place. all over the place. I don't. Don't touch my. Don't. Please stay out. Of that that is a warning for no hitting of Tom's uh, singing music stand. Please, music stand. please. Now, please. You talked about man's best friend about forty minutes ago. Mm. I did. What do, who is man's best friend? Who is man's best friend? I have a curveball question here for you both. Well, it really, it really depends. I'm sure my opponent here is going to say dogs. Classic answer, right? Mm. The kind of animal that is just going to be slobbering at your knees no matter what, right? Man's best friend? Broden Kelly. Do you know why? Smart, beautiful, handsome. Loves a uh, loves a tickle and a cuddle, hmm. you know when he can get it. Mm. That's my best friend, and I'm a man. What's he going to say? Dogs, or what? Is he going to copy me? Hmm. Is he just going to copy me? There is nothing my opponent can say in rebuttal to this that won't make him look like an idiot and won't make me laugh. And I'll prove it to you. I'll prove it to you right when it's his turn to start speaking. When he does, it should be. Well, I mean, we, you wait. Know, we just just wait. Yeah, no, I think it's fair if I do though. I think I should get all the time I'm allocated. I, I mean, I can you don't speak yet. Yeah, it's my turn. Okay. We're just keeping it under. under six. Wait. <laughs> Are you telling me? I have the floor. Yeah, but can I just... I have the floor. Time? I have the floor. You said Broden. We got it. It was a good answer. I don't think that's 60 seconds. Is that... Is, are, you, are you doing 60 seconds? I don't think you are. I think he's doing a bit. Are you doing a bit? Have you been fucking with the 60? <laughs> have you been fucking with the 60? This... What sort of no. campaign are we... Oh, there it is. And there it is. And, uh, Zach, man's best friend. And I was done on time. It's funny my opponent said, I'll say a dog, I will. I have a... Uh, what? what a surprise. What a shock and what a surprise. I have an American what Staffy. What a shock. Oh, a what a shock. American Staffy, a rescue. Um, I, I know that that can be challenging. You know, I've certainly had uh, oh. some tough times looking after that rescue dog. It has some I health concerns and some behavioural issues. Um, I love Mabel. Mabel's the name of my American Staffy oh. pit bull. Yeah. Um, Mine are Davidson and... I know there's a lot of people in this electorate that have 
um, rescue staffies. Uh, yeah, I do. And, I, I have one. Yeah. Oh, you do, right? There two. you go. Um, and I've got to say, Mabel is my man's best friend, my best friend. I'd love to see photos of the dogs. Sure. That you say you have and you. Have. Oh, I don't have my phone on me. I would never phone. bring such a we device. Can, I can such send them to you. Base. But I'll, I'll um, get it sorry, up your here. dog's name is Mabel. And I, I know it, that when, uh, it, when it pisses on the floor, do you call it Mabel syrup? Oh, that's the nineteenth time I've heard you do that joke. Well, it's a fair question. And if my opponent doesn't have an answer for Mabel it... Mabel does sometimes piss herself because she was used for breeding. Oh, and that's a great... Way to make a joke about that. Wasn't a joke. It was purely an observation. Now, closing statements. Closing statements, really? No. Well, what, are, uh, do you have, what question would you like to be asked? Okay, sure. Suppose I didn't do any questions. That's yeah. all right, you can keep riffing. I just, I'm having fun. I'm fun. I reckon this can go for two hours if you want. It doesn't have to go for that long, but, like, but it can go for a bit longer. Yeah. Why do you want to cut How this can you short? Keep going to him first. Pardon? No, it's your turn. Oh. What? Okay. What's something you like about your opponent? <laughs> Great question. Yeah, very good question. <sighs> Listen, oh God, um, he's struggling. I'll be honest. It is hard. I, I have a lot of disagreements with my opponent. I think he says what he thinks people want to hear, rather than the things people need to hear. Mm. Uh, I think he's more interested in the office of president of Auntie Donna than the longevity and success of Auntie Donna. I, I do believe those Not things. True. But Not something true. I respect. Not true. Something Wait I respect your turn. about Mark. Wait your turn, cunt. Uh, the guy's got a good taste in pies. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, if I'm ever looking for a pie recommendation, I know who to go to. I'm a simple man. Uh, you know, I like my four and twenties. Uh, but if, if, if ever, ever I want a, a, a nice pie, I'll go to him. Um, I don't have pies. Yeah, so I'll say that. I'll say the pies and um, hey, he's a very stylish man as well. I love my opponent's ability to choke under pressure. <laughs> that for me has always been something great, you know, great to see. And, <laughs> the re and that sounds like a backhanded compliment. It doesn't even sound right? like a compliment. Call me, call me Roger Federer. Right, the greatest tennis player that ever lived for doing a backhand. There's no backhand. You just is that is that crazy? So what? I'm the Roger Federer of this election, and who do we have over here? Andre Agassi. Federer would have fucking destroyed Agassi in his prime. Both in their prime. And that's all I'm saying. Mm. Is 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 uh. Oh, so because I gave a backhanded compliment, that makes me what? Roger Federer, the best te tennis player that ever, well, I don't that know ever lived? Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that compliment. Thank you. I appreciate it. I didn't say it. I didn't. Moving on. Yeah. Uh, what? Don't look at me like that. Um, that was good answer. What kind of snacks going forward will your term provide to the members of Auntie Donna? What kind of snacks in the office? Well, I trust people to do their job. So I leave that up to Lucy. Lucy, like... But that she gets her recommendations from the boss, the president of the company. Yeah, but me, right? This is how I like to operate. I'm not dictatorial. I don't go, you must. You must, therefore you do. Me? I'm a chill dude. I'm, I'm just like you, man. Oh. I grew up in Doreen, man. Like, I know what it's like. <laughs> I'm, ju I'm just a chill guy. So for me, it's like, what snacks do we want? I'll let people do their job. I'll let you do your job without micromanaging you. There's enough microplastics in your body that you don't need any more micro in your life. You got a micro dick. <laughs> you got microplastics in your blood. You don't need to be micro, don't, yeah, you don't need to be micromanaged. You don't need to be micromanaged. And if my opponent says anything particular, uh, can we if, my, if, my, my, if opponent, my opponent says opponent, it's anything cheap. specific, it's, it's, it's because he's a dictator. No. He runs it like a dictator. No. All right, Zach, your turn. I know how to communicate with, with my staff. I know how to communicate with my constituents. Name one staff. Name I will have a conversation wait. with Lucy. If I am president, I will have a conversation with Lucy. Ultimately, it is her choice as an elected official, mm. but I will have a conversation with Lucy. 
And in that conversation, I might recommend creamy, puffy things, oh. yummy, sweet things. Which I might she recommend do pancakes. Anyway, because she knows that's. What I might recommend like. pancakes if I can speak. I might recommend pancakes, waffles. I might uh, recommend other American shit like that. Weird American cereals. The sort of thing that a boy growing up in the suburbs watching Foxtel saw on his favourite Nickelodeon and Disney Channel shows and thought, one day, one day I'll be able to eat that stuff however much I want. And those are the things that I want in the cupboard and fridge of the Auntie Donna offices. Yeah. And I'm done. I don't need my full 60 seconds. Wow. What, what would you add anything to that? Pies. Cherry pies, apple pies, pies oh. a la mode. Those are the sorts of pies, pies I, I would deliver. I would deliver. Thank you for finishing my sentence. Would you match all those things he said he'd bring in? Those yummy American foods and puffy shit? Yeah. yeah. Creamy shit? Yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. I'd have a whole room for it. Which well, room? that's that's not. We talked about. I'd, I'd have a whole room. Mine. I'd have a whole room for it. We've I'd have a whole room for editors. it. I mean, we can talk. I'd have a this whole for the Patreon, fucking room. But we for are it. lacking office space. The editors need called, office space. It would be called the sweetie room, and the only person with the key to the locked door would be you. <laughs> That and, would mean I have a bribe. And, all and you now. can bring in, it's not a bribe, okay. it's a fucking policy. The editors need it's an editing suite. It's a fucking policy. It's a policy. I'm sorry to swear, but I'm just passionate about it. The editors need an room. editing suite. And they We've will have an editing suite. Sitting next to editors saying there's too much glare on my Give opponent, them an editing suite. My opponent, a sweetie room. my opponent cannot possibly fathom that we could have a sweetie room and an editing room. Well, how would you go about that? Get another room. Where? Where's the room? Across the hall! That's, that would be good for editing! So then take the old edit room, move it into there, turn the old edit room into a sweetie room, lock the door, give Broden the key, he gets one special guest a day. Listen, Whoever I... Whoever you want. Listen, that can, doesn't have to be from Auntie Donna either. That can be your brother Mitchell Kelly. That can be a family member. Can I respond? No. Can I respond to no. you? No. Yeah, you can, yeah. Can oh, can he? Yeah. Oh, fucking all right then. I've promised the American sweets, okay? But mm. I also am being realistic here. Uh, what do you think those editors are doing, Broden? What do you think those extra editors will be doing? They'll be editing content to promote the footy with Broden Kelly. So just to get on record, on you won't give Broden a, 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 a exclusive room full of sweeties that he's the only one with a key for. You won't do that. I'll look into it. Don't go around. He's skipping around. I will do. I will do. I will look into the viability stand, of that. Stand will you up for what you believe in. I, I'm sorry, Mark. You, will you commit to a sweetie room that I Broden, will only commit, Broden's allowed in? I will commit to a committee. I will commit to getting the Reserve Bank Sam Lingen to look oh, yeah. into the viability yeah, of it. Yeah, that's if I am president, I, get, yeah. I will look into it. What I am promising... Yeah, you'll Broden get your sweetie get room in, in two and a half years, mate. Don't Broden worry. will get his sweets. Whether they are in an exclusive room it's with the a first key... Thing, it's the first thing... That maybe I, I can't guarantee at this point, sure. But I will look into it. It would be the first thing I would do. Yeah, and Step how? In, how, where, where would you, how would you pay for it? i build up with my own fucking two hands because I care about it so much. Wow. My next question is to both of you. What's a question you'd like to be asked? Um, mm. Probably closing statements. Is that? <laughs> okay. Is that, can we be asked that? No, I don't. That's not really a question. But it's a good, it's a good point of where that Mark's at mentally. What do you mean? What do you you mean? see you're over it. No, 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 no. I just mean in the sense that it would be nice to finish this. Uh, Zach, what would you like to be asked? What would I like to be asked? The question I would like to be asked is... Keep telling again. Um, I've talked a little bit about my record over the last four years, two sitcoms, including a Netflix sitcom. Um, yeah, what about your rap sheet? Talk about that. You know, there are people in this room that will blame me for COVID-19. Will blame me for the American actors' strike and, and the impacts that had mm. on this business that are a little boring and specific for a Patreon video. They'll blame me for that. But what I'll say is through all of that, we got two sitcoms under my leadership. We got- That's um, a stretch. We got the, we got four re-releases of Pud. We got the, the Pud picture book, which didn't make a lot of money, but had a good cultural impact. We also had, we also had the uh, very, um, very successful real estate agent sketch. Now I'm not taking credit for the creative on that, but what I'm saying is under my leadership, we've seen all areas grow. And that benefits who? It benefits the constituents. Zachary Ruane, Mark Bonanno, Broden Kelly. The electorate, I should say. Speaking of... So the question I wish I was asked, the question I wish I was asked, 
Time's up. What more can you do wow. with another four years? Fuck. You want to answer that? Speaking of, oh, we want to talk about. Which is three sitcoms. We want to talk I'll about. I'll get you another point. Netflix sitcom. Wow. <laughs> I'll get you another. I'll get you season two. Wow. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll get you another season wow. of the Netflix show. I'll do one better. I'll get you season three. <laughs> Straight off the bat. Wow. Yeah. Uh, my opponent spoke about. And a movie. Uh, I'll get you. To, I'll get you the sequel to the movie. And a footy with Brody Kelly TV show on, on whatever channel you choose. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No one can promise that. I can in pro this, I in this it. economy, I promise it. Didn't you already have an offer for that? You turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of, of yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a the, coffee? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, none of this matters. Um, <laughs> my opponent spoke of uh, Pud, re-release of Pud. The proof is in the pudding. <gasps> oh, good, fucking good, can't. Fucking good time. Wow. The proof okay. Is in the pudding. Great. Well, on that note, we're going to go. I have more by, but I feel like that yeah. ended so. Yeah. Well don't that, don't yeah. fuck with that. It would be bad for me if I kept going. Does Sam yes. have any questions? We have any questions? Um, I'm just gonna talk to my to that guy. Your advisor. Um, can you ask them what, what temperature they like dangerous? Yeah. Okay. The team upstairs. Uh, have wanted to ask me, both of you are dressed like it's a different temperature in this room. Mm. You're in a t-shirt and you're in an overcoat and a beanie. What's that about? I'll start with you, Zach. Yeah, sure. Um, well, as we know, I had an incident with my hair earlier. I'm um, happy to own that. I put on the beanie to deal, deal with that. The big coat was because we turned off the heater in the room and I thought it would drop in temperature more than it has. But I would say Mark is more appropriately dressed for the temperature of this room. For once, for once, I agree with my opponent. Wow. For once. And you wish I wrapped it in pastry, turned it into a pie, though. <laughs> well, it is getting to lunchtime, <laughs> and I believe that a hungry crew. I believe that a hungry crew must be fed even at eleven o'clock in the morning. Well, the crew aren't voting. I only care about you, you, the three of us. See, I care about Sorry. the three of us, but I also really Sorry. love the crew and care about Fuck. them. I care about what the are crew their names? as well. Oh, flip flop. Flip-flopping! Mr. Flip-flop. And that's not because he enjoys summer. That's not because he goes to the beach. You... Uh, it's uh, it's because of the way he is with issues. Now, Zach, you had the first closing statement, opening statement, so now you get the... F do you yeah, want to... What do you want? What do you yeah, want? Yeah, I'll close. You want to go last last or do you want to go second last? Uh, what? What do you mean, second last? Do you want to end this as the last speech or do you want to go before? It's no, no, no. Oh, that's only fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's... You're right, you Wait, no, is that? Because you went first. Well, like, he's going to... You were the first to go... Yeah, you oh, yeah, to yeah, speak, yeah, so, so I should, should be first. the last to speak. Yeah. Or you get the choice, I reckon. Uh, what... I don't... Oh, man, really, I don't mind. I don't mind. What do you want to do? What do you reckon? I'm just... I'm all out of ideas and I think if, if you go first, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> someone's right out of time. <laughs> no, we get li unlimited time for final closing. Yeah. I'll go first. I'll go first. That's a warning. I'll go first because even though my opponent spoke. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> even though my, even though my opponent spoke first, you're, I'm happy to let them speak last. Yeah. Okay. So opponent. you're going now. Yeah. yeah I'm happy. And you can, you're no time in I'm happy to let them speak last because I'm not afraid. And I think that's been the biggest theme, much like um. Uh, uh, Batman Begins one of the biggest themes here is fear of today that's come up for me my opponent is terrified and not just of ghosts and ghouls not just of uh, goblins but he's afraid to speak to the issues to tackle the issues and tackling is something I think is really cool and you know why? because it's in the football Because much like any old ruckman, I am going after the ball of the presidency and I will tackle and fucking destroy whoever gets in my fucking way. But not in a way that's like, like, but like with good sportsmanship as well, because I know that's important to you. Um, <laughs> I'm the only one tonight, I'm the only one here tonight who's actually talked about What's happening? <laughs> what, 
what's happening today and the things affecting the members of Auntie Donna today, the temperature, dressing appropriately for it, coming in my hair ready, good to go. Your hair is as fluffy as mine was. I know, I, I'm not, it's, I, cut, I, got, I cut it myself. I'm not happy with it. You could have I don't trust. Beanie. I don't trust barbers. No, I don't look good in a beanie. You look great in a beanie. Oh, I, look like a, I look like a. You know, it's a bit. I think you look really oh, nice. Oh, thanks, mate. That's really nice. Um, it's like the wrestling. It's all after this. We're just going to grab a beer at the pub, even though we've been fighting. We're all good. Yeah. Uh, but I will. I am. But I am here to. T- uh, Cause, so I'm the only one, who's like, oh, I fucking. I'm the only one who gives a shit, man. Like legit. You know, you're fucking, you're down the earth, you're a salt of the earth kind of dude, right? The only salt that this guy is dealing with is the salt that he puts around his bed because he's terrified of slugs. Again, fear. This is a man owned by fear. I am salt of the earth. He is sax assault from Woolworths (laughs) that he puts around his bed to keep the slugs at bay. I mean, <laughs> come on, man. Dude, just level with me here. I'm not fucking here to fuck around. I'm not here to fuck around. I'm here to fucking win elections, make a sweetie room, give you the key, give you the honor and privilege of bringing in one guest a day. That's the first thing on my list. The first thing on my list. It's the first thing on my list. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Zach, to close it out. Wow, wow. Oh, slug man. Thank you, thank you, Bryden. Um, and thank you, everyone. As you just heard, I was accused of being sax assault. The cheapest, most affordable, most reasonable salt on the shelf. And I'll say it, I'll admit it, I am. I'm not salt of the earth, I'm sax of salt. Salt of the earth or salt of the ocean, those fancy flaky salts in their little boxes with all their patterns. What are they going for? $20 for a little box of salt? No, give me an 80 cent sax of salt. (laughs) I'm a humble man, a simple man. A few months ago, I was at the AFL football. (laughs) I was watching the AFL football from the stands. And I remember thinking to myself, geez, I better get home soon to look after my American staffy slash pit bull, not quite sure of the breed dog at home. Because I know that that can be challenging. I am a humble man, I'm a simple man. I'm a lamb pie. A lamb forward 20 pie. In his opening remarks, my opposition compared himself to a mincemeat shepherd's pie. And he also made allusions to shepherding a flock that were very religious-y. I did no magic. Were very Jesus-y. I did no magic. He implied that he was a sort of Jesuit figure, leading the people of Auntie Donna to a greatness that I can't promise, I can't promise it. Mm. There are too many factors outside of this company (laughs) that I can't control. I can, I can promise it. I just want to but what I can promise is high protein options when we do shoots, mm. is yummy sweet things for snacks, mm. is time off to watch football and go look after your dog if you ever need. Wow. And more than anything, what I can promise is that every day I will wake up, like I have for the last four years, I will wake up and my first thought will be, um, what can I do for Auntie Donna? Also, also, <laughs> Mark. <laughs> what? Mark um, has been stealing money from Auntie Donna. <gasps> wow. I want an ending. No, 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 no. I get to I get to speak to that. I didn't know that. I get to speak to that. That is a heavy Thank accusation. You so much. Thank that you. is a heavy accusation. Thank you. Well No, in a debate, in a debate, the third speaker does usually Thank get you. to go again. You after. had the choice. You had the choice to I go have up. not been spe- stealing that much money. I have not. 
Thank you for watching Petty the, cash. Uh, the Arnie Donner debate. My name's Broden, and we'll see you on election night. And we'll see you then. Say hi to your mum for me. Mark Latham. <laughs> <laughs> All right.